it's Julie Steen. I'm an associate professor here in the School of Social Work at the University of Central Florida. I'm also a faculty affiliate of the Florida Institute for Child Welfare. Um, my research has primarily focused on foster care, um, and in recent years I've begun to examine the effect of disasters on the foster care system. Um, one of my studies examined the effect of Hurricane Irma on Florida's foster families and also on the group homes and residential facilities that house foster youth. Um, some quick takeaways from that study are that um, foster families have some needs related to hurricanes. Um, they need additional financial assistance to address the costs of preparation and evacuation related to hurricanes. Um, they also have a need for an expedited review process, approval process, for when they are seeking permission to exit the state with their foster children for the purposes of evacuation. Um, a third, foster families um, also need additional clarity regarding the rules of where they're allowed to stay with their foster children during evacuation. Um, the foster parents also mentioned some of the stressors that affected their foster children. These include things such as cancellation, such as cancellation of visitation with biological families. Um, also, the closure of schools is particularly stressful for children who benefit from consistency and routine. Um, in terms of the group homes and, and residential facilities, um, they mentioned three primary costs. These include the cost of preparation, the cost of staffing and overtime, and the cost related to property damage. I will say that the um, executive directors who I interviewed also mentioned some strengths, and they had some exemplary planning processes that they were using to prepare for hurricanes. Um, they also mentioned a vibrant support network that they had formed with churches, um, businesses, and local city and county government organizations um, units that um, they found to be very beneficial um, during and after the hurricane. So if you have any questions about this study or would like more information, feel free to contact me at my email, which is jsteen, J-S-T-E-E-N, at ucf.edu. Thank you very much for tuning in today, and feel free to contact me with any questions about this research.